Hello and welcome to Horn Trader on YouTube. Today I have a bit of an anomaly. Is it a trumpet? Is it a coronet? Is it a flugelhorn? Is it a flumpet? No to all the above. It is a pudgy. Looks like Puget, but I understand it's pronounced pudgy. Silly name for a very serious horn. You can see this one is in incredible condition. This very nice scratched lacquer on it. It's got a, a model water keys, quick dump right here, you can see. Two water keys, bam bam. It's also got a water key here. Now look at this tuning appointment. This actually tunes the whole horn. It makes the bell longer. see it's very ergonomic well thought out it's also got a first valve slide which remains kind of constant I guess you could use it if there was some problem notes but there aren't any problem notes it's got a good scale full-size bell and uh, fits my my emo Harman mute perfectly And uh, I think one of the reasons I really like this horn, first of all, it's a real crowd pleaser. It really catches people's eye. They go, what the heck is that? I've used it on cornet gigs. I've used it um, marching, <laughs> I'm sad to say. And I've also used it in uh, intimate jazz uh, uh, situations. And uh, it's just fun to play. It's just the fun horn. And they're very rare. Uh, this one probably made 10, 15 years ago. I'm not quite sure when Bobby died, but um, he's been uh, gone for over a decade now. And uh, these are very rare. It's got a third slide stop here. I mean, he really thought this horn out. It's built on a blessing valve section. And um, I really uh, think it's a fun horn. You can find this great horn in the B-flat trumpet section, also in the cornet section, and in the other interesting gear section of horntrader.com. Thanks for listening, and we'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.